Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and we are back in the garage, uh, kind of the half form studio. It's been a while since I've recorded out here, but I wanted to do something with the A05 and do a little bit more testing on that one. So I figured I'd come out here, set things up and kind of go through a full, not really a full tutorial, but more of a uh, kind of half tutorial and testing for the A05, the Lumen Vessels and the LCS Wicks. And along with that, we're gonna be using the Boho Soft Volcano Oil. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop to the other camera real quick and I'll show you exactly what we're working with here. So for this one, we've got the Lumen Vogues. Uh, if you've ever seen the Aura style vessels, it's just those right there. And all the supplies I'm using today can be found at West Sound Candle Supply. And I'll go ahead and include a link for it in the video description down below in case any of this stuff jumps out and you wanna check it out. And we're gonna go ahead and use the pink one since it's Valentine's Day. Uh, I've got two of the LCS 40s which are these guys right here. Uh, the 35s and the 40s work really well in the A05 coconut soy. It's a softer wax, so you wanna go with, uh, I'd like to go with two double wicks instead of one single one. One single does work in these vessels, but the flame gets a little big, so I actually like two smaller wicks, uh, which burns perfectly in these. We're gonna be using the Boho Soft Volcano in this one. Uh, really nice spring scent with uh, Valentine's Day and spring coming up. And then of course, I'm gonna be adhering these wicks with, with red RTV silicone. This is a gasket adhesive. Uh, it secures wicks better than anything. You can use wick stickers, but I like using this because once you put this stuff down, those wicks are not going anywhere. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up the wax. I've got a trusty, kind of, I'm going old school today. I've got a Presto pot, so I'm gonna go ahead and open the wax. We're gonna get it melting. And then we're gonna go ahead and place the wicks and then let everything sit for about an hour. And then for the wicks, I've got a pen casing here. Probably the easiest way to place wicks, just grab a big pen, hollow it out, and I'm gonna run the wicks right through that. Give it a little And then I'm gonna go ahead and put those just a little bit off center. And you don't need a ton with the red RTV. Uh, it sticks really well. It also withstands temperatures hotter than any candle's gonna get. I mean, it's meant to go in an engine. It's a very strong, very durable, and high heat adhesive. And when you're done with this stuff, definitely put it back in a plastic bag because it will harden up. Uh, that's probably the worst part about the Red RTV. If you don't seal it well, the tip of that will harden up and then you've got to scrape that out before you can use it again. All right, so that's pretty much it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and let those wicks sit for about an hour. Uh, that Red RTV needs about one hour to kind of really adhere to the glass and then you can go ahead and pour with it. And then it's probably gonna take about a good 30 to 40 minutes for that wax to melt down. And then once it fully melts down, we're gonna go ahead and pour it into the vessels and we'll go ahead and take a look at it. All right, so it's been about an hour. I've let the wicks uh, kind of, well, the adhesive in there cure just a little bit. It's a little cold out here, so I probably should have let these hold on a little bit longer, maybe hour and a half. Uh, normally it's about an hour to let that set. And of course I checked the wax with a thermometer. I've got this one right here. It's up right around like in between 190, 200. So it should be perfect for the AO5 coconut soy. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into a pitcher. We'll go ahead and mix the oil and then pour it into the vessels. And I'm gonna go ahead and measure the wax against the sticker inside there. All right, so I went ahead and measured out my wax. We're gonna go ahead and add this oil here. And I've already got this one pre-measured out. And for this one, I'm just adding 8% fragrance load. And I'm gonna go ahead and put on the screen how much wax we used and how much oil I used. Go ahead and stir that for just a little bit. Make sure it's good and mixed. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour those in. Hopefully those wicks don't pop up. It should be okay. And I added a little bit of coloring in this one just to see what it looked like with a little bit of pink for Valentine's Day. I 
Got a little bit more wax in there than I really wanted, but once that settles a little bit, that's gonna work out perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let those sit for a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the wicks once the wax hardens up a little bit. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull the wicks into place and I'll worry about the sinkholes or the trails that they leave after. All right, so for the coconut soy, I went ahead and like you saw in the video, I poured it against the sticker. And again, these stickers are on the website, West Sound Candle Supply. I've got it in there so I know right about where the line should be. And it was right around 24 ounces of wax with 8% fragrance load. That was about 1.92 ounces of oil. All right, so it's been a couple hours. We're gonna go ahead and take the wick holders off of these. I went ahead and placed some, so we're gonna go ahead and take those off, look at the tops of these. And then of course, after that, we'll let them sit for a little bit and then we'll make another video where we go back through and test the hot throw on these. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead. Still a little warm. They've been cooling for about, I don't know, probably close to two hours, but go ahead and pop these off. And you can see a little sinkhole right in the middle. Not horrible, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop a chopstick down through the middle of that just to open it up. And then we'll melt that down. And the pink on that one actually turned out pretty nice. I used two drops of red. I'd probably just use one to get a little more lighter pink. All right, so I went ahead and, all right, so I went ahead and popped a chopstick down through the middle of that just to open it up. It definitely opened up more in the middle. So I'm going to go back through with the heat gun. We'll smooth those over and then later we'll test them. All right, so that's pretty much it with this one. We've got a little bit of time before we can actually test these. I've got two different ones, so I'm gonna test one probably at the five or six day mark, and then we'll let the other one sit for probably 12 to 14 days just to see what kind of a difference it does make between the two. And of course, before then, if you guys have any questions on any of the stuff that you saw in this video, please let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll try to add all those questions and answers to the second follow-up video to this one. And of course, if you wanna take a look at any of the products that I use today, I've got every everything in the video description down below. Most of the supplies as far as the wax, the oils, for the majority of stuff that I used here, the wax, the oils, the wicks, and the vessels, they all came from West Sound Candle Supply. So uh, jump over there, click the link, and take a look at all the other colors of the lumens. And we'll see you in the next video.